Hope up. All right, guys, as you saw uh, last week's video, I got everything tuned back up. I got my thrust back. This will be the first test flight since then. Letting everything warm up. The windsock is dead still right now. Got light, light little fluffy clouds. Pretty hot outside, but not brutal. Very humid. Got my altimeter set. Let's get going. Three zero one two. One two. Three zero. One two. I don't like that. I think it, I think three zero. I think three zero. You sure? Okay. Oh yeah. All right, so the wind, light and variable. Had a discussion whether I should take three zero or one two. Well, it's 90 degrees off, but it's light enough. I don't think it's going to matter too much. So we'll take one two. The one good reason is, uh, with prefer one two, it will. At the end of the runway there, there's nothing but fields. There's you know fence line, a road, just a bunch of fields. Now if we hit three zero, we end up right over the town coming off the runway, so we'd, we'd rather take one, two if we can. Uh, all right, I gotta get used to this new little dead cat on my mic, brushing up against my lips. All right, I think everything's clear. Everything's in the green. Rotor brake is off. And we got low. high a hundred and fifty and my crab experimental line six alpha taking runway one two and a whack
Well, I tell you, they need to mow this grass runway. Weeds are up to my knees. Even though I have a dominator style tail with the anti-servo tab, if I let go of the rudder, my gyro wants to nose over to the right. Well, dude, I had a, a little tendency for it to, if I took my foot off the rudders, it would, it would yaw to my right. And uh, this rudder setup shouldn't allow that, but since I chopped four inches off the top, I think I do have a difference of the swirling wind coming off the top, hitting more of the bottom and less of the top. So I think that's pushing my nose over to the right. So what I did, I, I took the anti-servo tab. You can see the little silver blue thing in the back there. That should keep the rudder centered. So what I did, I offset that a little bit to where when I let my feet off, it should give the rudder a little bit off-center to keep my nose straight. So we'll see if that works and make a few you know, trips around a pattern and maybe you know if everything feels good we'll just fly a little further down the coastline and head back so we will see how that feels let's jump in here my radio headset cables untangled clip up well guys i'm still having microphone problems with high rpms I'm getting a bunch of engine noise, so I'll just narrate for you. After I did my pre-rotation, I pulled out onto the runway and started gaining a little more RPMs on my rotor. Got the stick full back, slowly bring the RPMs up as the rotor speeds up. As soon as my front end starts to get light, I'm going to catch the front end, kind of balance on the main wheels, and give it a full throttle, and getting off the ground right there. Everything feels, feels fine. Uh, the rudder feels a little better now. Uh, I'll, I, uh, I'll get around here, head straight into the wind, take my feet off the rudder, and we'll see what it feels like. So here you see I raise my feet up off the rudder, and the nose slowly yaws to the right. Not quite as bad as it was last time, but a little more than I'd want. So I'm going to put a little bit more twist in that and a servo tab, see if I can get it to fly straight at cruise throttle. The video didn't look near as bad as it felt when I was flying. So that lake ahead of me right there is Lake Anahuac, and off to the left is Trinity Bay. So right now I have two other gyros in the pattern. Tony is with a student. He's doing touch and goes on the grass strip, 1-7. And we've got Danny coming in from flying around for about an hour. Danny's on final. Tony's just taken back off a of 1-2, and I decided just to skirt the airport and let everybody clear out before I came in for a landing. So here I am on final for 1-7. I prefer to land in the grass. I do not like taking off in the grass. It's a pretty bumpy runway. The airport really needs to do something about it. The landing in it's fine since there's very little roll on landing, but it is a little more forgiving. Not that I'm afraid of the asphalt runway. It's just why use a hard runway if, if you don't have to. So I really just, uh, depending on the wind direction, so the wind was coming out of the south, very mild. I would just prefer to land into the wind when possible. So everything's a good flight. The servo tab on the rudder needs a little bit more tweaking to get everything to line up when I'm at cruise throttle. Other than that, everything was a good flight, and I'll be on vacation for a week. I'll come back and try something else with the mic and see if I can get this thing to work. I might end up having to put on a full-face helmet. I'd hate to do that in the middle of August in South Texas, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. Later.